Hey guys, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about Blendtec blenders. I've had this Blendtec blender now for about three years. I didn't realize I had had it that long until I had a recent problem and I tried to return it at Costco the other day. The motor works great. The way this thing works is it has a gear and that gear spins and connects to a spindle which has a blade in a bucket and the bucket turns the blade and basically chops up all the stuff. The problem came in when I was getting some serious vibrations from my blender and I noticed that the vibrations were coming from the bucket. So that spindle right there should not have any play and it was moving around way too much. So I decided to try to take it back to Costco and see if I could get my money back, but I was unable to return it. So I looked for an alternative container to use for the Blendtec. So I found this company called Alternajar and I looked it up on YouTube and watched a couple of the reviews and this thing's pretty cool. This is made differently than the one that I have currently with my Blendtec. This has a full metal base and it's removable. This whole plate and assembly system can be taken apart and removed and replaced if needed. You can just take a simple tool that embeds in those two holes there and it you know, rotates counterclockwise and unscrews and then you can put a new blade, uh, a new base plate, new gaskets, anything you want to replace this stuff. It has a four blade system as opposed to the Blendtec two blade and those blades are actually sharpened just a little bit. It also has a nice hole on top where you could pull it open and use one of those sticks to move things around if they get stuck in place and you have to kind of help your smoothie along when it blends. An added benefit is that the lid from your old bucket will now fit the new container as well. So you can keep two lids around in case you need it. But it sits right in there and fits perfectly into the new container. I didn't see any difference from one container to the other with the way that it fit the base. So I don't see any advantage or disadvantage um, from the new one versus the old one. They both have a little bit of a wiggle and jiggle. So both of those containers, when you blend something, will vibrate on that assembly. So let's give it a spin. I've got a banana, I've got some spinach, peanut butter, some yogurt, and an ice cube in there. And I went ahead and put it through the smoothie cycle to see how this thing would, you know, churn it out. I didn't really see a difference from one to the other. This seemed to be cutting and chopping a little finer than the other bucket did. Um, everything came out smooth and well mixed. So I think this thing is a plus and it's a possible uh, upgrade that you want to consider for your Blendtec. So anyway, long story short, I think this is a good deal and a good option for you if you're looking to replace your container for your Blendtec. But let me backtrack a little bit upon the process that I went through and let you know that there might be some alternatives. Now I went to Costco and if it, any of you don't know what Costco is, Costco is a big box store. It's a membership only place and it's like a wholesale club. Um, and I bought it there about three years ago. So when I went to return it at Costco, the guy kind of laughed and was like, dude, you bought this like three years ago. You don't have the book. You don't have the box. You want to return it. And, you know, typically Costco will be pretty aggressive with returning things. And I said, yeah, that's true. And I said, but, you know, I did pay 300 bucks for it and the container doesn't work. So I was just going to see if there's anything you could do. And he told me, why don't you go ahead and call Blendtec and see what they'll do because I think they have a good warranty. He said, I'll make you a deal. If they don't replace your container, you can bring it back up here and I'll give you your money back and you can go get another one. So I thought that was pretty fair. But when I was driving home, I did call Blendtec and I talked to him and I said, hey, I have a, a bad jar and the, the shaft is jiggly. And they said, you know what, we'll uh, go ahead and send you a new container. It's something we've had a problem with. And believe it or not, the Blendtec comes with an eight year warranty. So I have five more years warranty on this product and I've had it for three. So that's pretty amazing and it was a pretty easy process. I didn't have to buy the Alterna jar after all, but I'm glad I did because it's probably a good or a better alternative than the one that comes with the Blendtec. And in addition to that, I have a backup container now coming to me for free. So anyway, um, hope this helped you guys. If anybody's having the same problems that I had, it's uh, answered a few questions for me and hopefully I can answer them for you before you even have to ask them. Have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Thank you.